Welcome to my lecture online. You've, you may have heard about relativity. You may have heard about general relativity and special relativity. But do we understand the difference between the two? And there are indeed the two types of relativity, the general relativity and the special relativity. Well, how are they different? In the most basic terms, they're different in two ways. One way is that special, the special theory of relativity deals with the effects that you see or observe when you're moving really fast. When the velocity at which you move or the object that you're observing is moving, when that velocity approaches the speed of light, and that's what that little arrow means, when it gets to be a very significant portion or fraction of the speed of light, then things begin to change. How are they changing? Well, that depends, that is relative, to the observer. So let's say we have an observer who's stationary on the ground, so that observer is in what we call a stationary reference frame. And let's say we have a second observer that is on a spaceship that's moving really fast, where the velocity of the spaceship is pretty close to the speed of light. So let's say that that becomes the event. You can also think of this as the moving reference frame. The spaceship and the person in it, observer B, is moving, and that becomes the moving reference frame, also sometimes called the event. It depends upon how the situation is set up. We'll see some examples. But what happens now? Well, the way observer A sees things and the way observer B sees things now become different. They now become relative because they're now in a different reference frame. What observer A sees as happening on this event versus what observer B sees, who's actually on the event itself, is going to be different. For example, as seen by observer A, the time in this event, the time in this spaceship, actually slows down. So let's say there's a clock on the spaceship, and observer A can take a look at that clock. That clock will appear to be moving really slowly, according to observer A. But according to observer B, they will look at the clock and see absolutely no difference. The clock seems to be just quite normal. A second thing that seems to be happening, as observed by observer A, is that the mass of these objects increases. For example, the mass of observer B seems to be much larger than it was when observer B was still on the Earth. Now, sometimes instead of calling it mass, we may call it momentum, because that's the mass times velocity, but we'll get into those details later. We can simply assume that, yes, the object appears to be more massive based upon what we're observing. And we've seen that in the laboratory, small particles sped up to very high velocity appear to have a greater amount of mass. And of course, that's relative to the observer in the lab that's not moving along with the fast particles. And thirdly, what observer A sees, who's on the stationary reference frame, things appear to be shrinking in the direction of travel. So if the spaceship, well, let's say, was 100 meters tall before it took off here on the Earth, it will appear to be quite a bit shorter as it's moving at very high velocity, moving in that direction. So length appears to decrease, mass appears to increase, and time appears to slow down, as seen by an observer from a stationary reference frame looking at what's happening in that moving reference frame. However, the person on the moving reference frame looks at all that and says, there's no difference, the spaceship is still the same length, the time is still acting normally, and the mass, well, nothing seems to have changed there as, as well. So again, that's what we mean by the special theory of relativity. It depends upon who's observing and what they're observing, and from what perspective they're observing things. And of course, none of that would be so if, of course, the spaceship is moving very slowly, then there would be no difference in time, mass, or length. Now, the general theory of relativity, that has to do with gravity, but more specifically, it has to do with the concept that if you're on the Earth and you're experiencing the gravitational force of the Earth so that any object that you drop appears to be accelerating towards the Earth at the acceleration equal to g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, that event could not be distinguished from a similar event if you were to be on a spaceship far out in space away from the Earth when the spaceship is accelerating at the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth, 9.8 meters per second squared, any event happening here would look exactly the same as the event happening on the Earth, and the person could not see any difference. So if this is observer A and this is observer B, any experiment that they would do on board to the spaceship here or on, on the surface of the Earth, we would not be able to tell any difference whatsoever, and that's the basic concept of the general theory of relativity. The result of that is 
there's several things that we then begin to observe. First of all, any objects that seems to be placed in space seems to bend or warp space causing the effect of gravity. Secondly, any object that's close to a large object that then causes gravity in space seems to also slow down time. So for example, if you're close to a large object like the Earth or the Sun or a galaxy where the gravitational force is greater, time seems to slow down. And also what we see is that light that passes a large object like that in space seems to bend and change direction due to the effect of gravity, which of course is very strange because light doesn't have any mass and should not be affected by gravity. But again, because Einstein looking at this and realizing that there doesn't seem to be any difference and any experiment that you can do either on the spaceship or on the surface of the Earth would ex have the exact same results, because of that, the assumption then was carried forward and these things are now actually have been proven to be correct. That large objects in space seem to cause gravity, time slows down near a large object with a lot of gravity, and light seems to bend around objects that have a lot of gravity as well. So that's the special, or that's the general theory of relativity, as opposed to the special theory of relativity, which depends on an object moving really fast, and then observing that object, that event, from a point of view where you're stationary. So that gives you at least an inroad on the difference between the two types of relativity, and we'll see some more detail of how these thoughts and ideas came about and how they then resulted in the things that we're observing and in the equations that we end up then deriving the observations that we're seeing. So stay tuned and we'll show you a lot more about these kind of concepts.